February is almost over, the storms are almost gone, and it's going to be time to play soon. My goal this year is to actually go out and target fish when they come around. First of the year is going to be place. I'm going to make up this rig. It's going to be an up and over wishbone rig. I'm going to be using some of the moon glow components. I've learned a trick on the off season to um, get those little silicone bits up the line without putting the hook on first. Stick around. All right, guys, this is the stuff that you are going to need to build this. Pulley bead, a snap link. I'm using scratching hooks, size six, size six. A couple of beads, a barrel swivel, a bent Gemini swivel. You need to make sure it's got that little bent bit on it that is the important part and we've got some sequins some more sparkly bits to go on moon glow components and the rig body i will use 60 pound mono and for the hook length it will be 25 pound amnesia let's get to building all right first you want to get your rig body and you want about two feet two feet and a bit then you tie your clip on the bent one i like to put a swivel on the top of mine so i can clip it on and off my main line don't tie your rig body to that bit Tied to that bit. Why does he just use a regular old blood knot? One, two, three. What a bit of saliva. Cinch it down. Cut your tag end off. I like to leave a little bit. Some people don't. I do. I feel like it's added security. Then you do a bead. And these beads are only there to like protect the knot. Then you want your swivel bead. Yeah, swivel bead. Pulley bead. Then another bead. Then I should. Look at that. These beads protect that knot. Yeah. Then you get your barrel swivel for the other end. Three, four, five, blood lock again. Saliva, cinch it up. Cut the tag off. Attach your snap link to the pulley bead. This is where your lead will go. No, just get that on there. And that is your rig body and that's how she should look when you're done with it. All right, we'll do the hook length. I'm going to use the 25 pound amnesia. When you do the hook length, you want to make the hook length about one and a half times as long as your rig body. It's so about two and a half feet. So I would say and that's two, about that much. You don't want it much longer, because you have to remember you need to do the wishbone bit as well, and that's gonna be a bit of a length. It's 
snippet there. If you cut your line at a 45 degree angle, if you need to put any beads or anything on it, it's easier. It whips right through there. Then you don't have problems like getting it out of the stuff. And straighten that out a little bit. Then on your barrel swivel end of your rig body, you tie your hook length. Five, six. This is a really simple knot. I've never had any of these knots fail. Simple. One, two, three, four, five, six twists. Put it with some saliva and cinch it down. There you go. Cut the tag end off. Now, on the other end of your, I forgot to say this earlier, of your, um, what you call it? Hook length, I use a 45 pound swivel. I don't know if you can see it. Just a regular old barrel swivel, small one. And this would be the bit that your wishbone part goes through. Cinch it down, bang. There you go. Now, the tricky bit. The only tricky part about it is you have to make sure that the wishbone length is how you need it. So at this point, you take this bit, take your clip and attach your lead. What you want, you can use an imp or something, but it's a bit, it's a lot of components. I get leads with this little clip. Splash down, so when it hits the water, that pushes the hooks off. So you attach your lead. You've now got your lead at the bottom and you're up and over. Okay. For your wishbone bit, again, the 25 pound amnesia, and you want about ooh, that much. Is that 45 centimeters, give or take? So now you're left with that. Not that much. Then, you take a piece of silicone tubing. And this will work as like a stop knot type of deal. Right. So you want to take your silicone tubing, slide it down the line. Loop it around. Go back through and cinch it tight. And there is a stop knot. Put it through the small swivel that you put at the end of your uh, main hook length. Yeah. Take another piece of silicone tubing and around up through and pull it tight and that'll stop that from sliding all the way through you might not want to do it but that's how i like to do it and then we go for the secret part. So here are my 
moon glow components. And around here, it seems like our place like green and black. I feel that these are a bit too big for my liking. So I've cut some in half. So cut the green ones. All right, so now you got all them. So now what you wanna do is I take a regular sewing needle. Don't know if you can see. Regular sewing needle with a big um, threading loop in it. I take my line, thread it through the needle. Sometimes a bit fiddly. Through the needle, just like you're sewing. Hold it there. And then I get some moon glow and go straight through the middle. Straight through the middle with the needle, holding your line, make sure you hold two pieces or it's just gonna come out. Up the needle, bang. That is on the line and you haven't had to put a stick sequin on. And then I'll repeat it until all these are gone. You guys want to add some flash for place. Flashy, flash, flash, flash. So, right. I'll get the rest of these on and then I'll come back. Right. At the end, I put the rest of the beads on. And I've also put a, like, a bigger bladey thing on for some more flash. Does it look professional? Nope. Um, but it's just something to try. I like to spread the beads out, the little silicone bits out. So these move around. And that should be, I don't know if you can see it all flashy. But yeah. Flashy, flash, flash. Now, you tie hook links. Number six, scratching hooks. Stick one of these guys on. One, two, ah, three, four. And the slide bell. Reduce the friction on the line. And give me two hours. Grab it. Cinch her up. And that is one side of the business end. Let's do the other one. I think on the other side I'm going to use um, orange and red. And I'll use proper beads. Just to see how it goes. I mean, you check this out in the water. You might like the red and green. You might like the orange and red. Give them a choice. All right. Orange and red. I meant yellow and red. Oh well. Uh, bead. Sequin. Bead. Sequin. And just repeat it. I use like six beads. And you want to repeat it. So it's one color, the next color, or one color, sequin, the next color, sequin, the next color, you know. Okay, so this side, we've got the black and green. I put a lot of sequins on this one. I think it's a bit overkill on the sequins. And the blade thing. On the other end, I took some sequins off. And I've got yellow and red beads and the blade thing. So that is your business end finished. That's what it should look like. Let's clip it up and see. So you've got your lead. 
your snap link, bead, pulley bead, another bead, your bent swivel, okay? Then we will clip her up. So this bit, your hook length comes from the bottom and it goes up and over, hence up and over. And your business end, your two hooks, clip her down there. Yeah, uppity, 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 up. And that is your finished product. Up and over wishbone. Is it going to work? I don't know. I hope it's going to work. Uh, so basically the theory behind this, let's give it a little test and see if it's going to work. So you cast out, your lead will hit the water, the water pushes up through these little grooves, pushes this bit, pushes the hooks off of the end. Bingo, bango. They're released. And now your lead is here. Yeah. And you've got about. A four foot wishbone length. You've got double the length of your rig body. Release is good. That'll sit in the water. The pulley works as a running ledger as well. So there's no tension. If a fish takes it, it doesn't feel the weight. All it feels is nothing except for bait in its mouth. There you go. That is the up and over wishbone rig. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it works for you. If you try it and you build it, let me know how it goes in the comments. Um, yeah, get out there, use it, go fishing. Um, send us some place updates. Thanks guys, see ya.